Hi Aries, I hope you're doing amazing. Welcome on in. We're going to talk about your money and career situation for mid-May 2023. We're going to keep it simple and pull from the Gilded Tarot deck. I'm being shown the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands at the split deck. You might want to watch the Libra and the Leo reading uh, depending on your uh, individual placements within your chart. Um, but because that was mentioned in both of the readings. But there is a level of passionate movement throughout the month for you in regards to what you need to accomplish, what you choose to accomplish for your career, um, in regards to uh, acquiring a new situation for some, uh, needing to and or wanting to see a door open for you uh, of importance. But I do feel like there's a nice balance uh, within your energy throughout the remainder of May uh, of you um, moving with passion and uh, seeing that come through and what you achieve, accomplish, um, uh, develop, create, but also a level of groundedness, right? Feeling quite in touch with um, your higher self, your intuition, and not feeling completely, say, out of whack, right? Not letting the passion feel overwhelming. And if it does, you kind of re-implement that grounded way of being, and it helps you uh, even achieve more. But I did hear the message before beginning the reading of um, honored uh, beyond belief, honored beyond belief. I've never gotten that exact message before, so expect for the remainder of May to entail at least um, some honor at, at specific points where it just kind of blows you out of the water. That was bad wording. It just uh, leaves you um, a bit in disbelief. It's like, wow, okay, this could be online, it could be in person, it could be through your business and or um, job, but let's continue doing some shuffling and see what we get for Aries. The Page of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, and the Ten of Wands in reverse. Now, I feel as if this is a time where you're thinking about where you're feeling trapped and limited. Um, say that's a job, you know, uh, specifically when you're, you know, locked into that situation. That was intense wording uh, throughout that day um, or before your lunch break. Um, looking at the clock in that sense, it could be, you know, wanting to move to a new career situation and leave what you have uh, at hand behind. Could be financial constraints you're thinking about could be more in regards to um where you're locked into uh con um contact wise interesting um locked into a conversation is what i'm hearing um but also i was trying to say contract wise say it's for an apartment a mortgage um, it could be you wanting to leave to a new situation um wanting to fast track but it could also just be you thinking about your commitments at times and feeling a bit blinded as to how the future with that commitment if not multiple looks for you but it's naturally a time where even though you're thinking about your limitations your restrictions if you will um, it just feels like it's not meant to be a heavy period of time for you where you accomplish this you accomplish that you impress this person you impress that person including yourself and it doesn't feel heavy even if once upon a time your living situation and or your work situation or the running of your business or it could be, um, uh, it could be uh, what was I going to say, um, one if not multiple people's energy um, in any of those situations, I feel as if it's not as heavy or just not at all in comparison to the recent past or even rewinding further back. It feels like a time where spirit's saying with this in place, right, ignoring this for the time being, let's take a, a fresh approach, let's, let's take a fresh mindset um, and just uh, align yourself with more success through that because it feels like this could be even you beginning a new job or moving into a new place of residence or planning to and this giving you that fresh opportunity to begin again. But even if you're continuing one if not multiple situations that have felt a bit heavy at certain points um, or in general, it's like, look at things are feeling better. So let's start fresh. Okay, and I do feel as if, um, or at least to an extent, but um, it's also this vibe of you showing off your work or putting it out there into the universe, and this feels quite gratifying when it works out in your favor. Again, gaining you honor and praise all the meanwhile. It feels as if there's a youthful vibe being perceived when people are viewing your work, uh, viewing you online, in person, you name it, through your business, your job, um, even when it comes to an investment I'm, I'm hearing. But then also there's just this mature vibe about you that's kind of intertwined with it, given you've been through a lot, regardless of how old you are, or what you actually have been through. Um, in spirit saying both sides of you, both aspects of you are quite visible, but 
Um, it might be, say, you're applying to a job and you're more a lot younger than certain other candidates or you just have uh, more experience but you're a lot younger or you're older with less experience. You know what I mean? And regardless of how it works for you, I feel as if um, those two factors of you are taken a highlight. Anyways, um, strategically choosing to hold back is what I'm hearing. There's going to be a focus on when you feel the need to not show off but then um, less uh, likely other moments throughout the month, uh, less often rather, you will be showing um, your feathers. There's a focus on how easily you're going to be able to connect with people throughout the month, uh, getting what you want, getting uh, uh, more success, more uh, abundance in general, um, more money to be made moving forward. I feel like Spirit's saying when money flows in in the remainder of May, uh, regardless of if it's feeling very consistent and expected, uh, expected and unexpected, or just unexpected in general, Allow for yourself to be responsible when managing and not overspending that money. But they're saying that there's going to be so much happiness on the horizon because of what you succeed at, whether it's what you're continuing and or beginning. But then there's more money in the month of June, July, August, and so on. It feels like uh, Spirit's saying this is a remainder of May where you're being shown evidence that you're on the up and up. Okay, things are about to improve. Things are about to increase on a multitude of levels and i do feel as if your ability to draw in attention command attention when you walk into the room naturally as an aries as a fire sign to get things done efficiently due to your knowledge and experience and your passion and your drive you're just going to succeed okay it's just that simple and at times it may not feel that simple in the moment but spirit's saying well that's the way we view it okay um at times there's also a reminder that Spirit sees more behind the scenes uh, and, you know, down the line than you do, right? Than we all do. So you need to trust when there's certain forewarning, synchronicities, holding back, delays taking place. Because it may not be fully explained to you, but say you were trying to achieve something in that moment, but it was delayed due to one of not multiple reasons, or you were pushed away from that situation for one of not multiple reasons. There could have been something you were pushed to avoid, right? A negative occurrence in that situation, that moment. Um, it would have been super difficult in that moment. Um, you could have been pushed away from or uh, pushed to avoid a conversation at work and or at home. And Spirit's saying, you have no idea how horrible that situation could have been or how sticky of a situation we just prevented for you. So consider these uh, delays, preventions, synchronicities as true blessings in and of themselves, okay? Um, the star card talking about how you are being viewed as a star, again, tying into that true honor flowing um, okay, in and out throughout the month. I feel like you're also complimenting people I'm getting, helping people, um, helping hands or hands stemming from you. It's like, just know that when you're doing just that, it's like you're not only sending out good energy to bounce back to you and therefore uh, even improving the energy and the vibe of a situation, but I do feel as if Spirit's saying, wait for the good karma to flow on back to you moving forward and you might even be you know eating up and uh, benefiting from certain levels of good karma from the recent past but it feels like there's just look at that helping passionate hands i also feel like you're being gifted certain levels of uh advancement or just yeah a leg up in one way shape or form it's like um yeah it just feels like you're very guided in the remainder of may to the point where tying that into your intuition guiding you getting those intuitive hits um, you really can't go wrong, okay? So it's just a, a matter of you channeling your mindset and your um, attention uh, uh, towards the positive, the optimistic, and you will see it become an even more successful remainder to me than you would think. Um, but it feels like all the meanwhile, you're glowing at certain points. This might even help your work at hand, who you're meant to bond with. People are feeling very randomly drawn to turn their head and look at you. It's like... Um, Take this as a, a positive thing, even though at times you might not be craving that attention or it might be sort of you trying to keep on the down low. I just feel like there's spotlight victory for you either way. Um, they're also saying any levels of victory, okay, to be acquired need to be uh, uh, noticed and uh, you need to be feeling grateful for it. I was going to say, as I was very thoroughly spoken through, any levels of vulnerability taking place in the remainder of May will benefit you on so many levels. And Spirit's saying, it's just another reminder that even in other ways, when something happens, when you put effort towards something of importance for you or just feels necessary, 
um, even when say taking care of yourself, right? Spending money even. It's like some sometimes you don't realize how much it's gonna benefit you and your situation, your future. Um, and in this case, your money and career down the line, okay? So just keep in mind your efforts as long as they're channeling the right direction. You're trusting your intuition and selectively the spiritual guidance coming in. Your future is going to unravel in exactly the way it's meant to. They're saying again, very successful. But you know, if we're being honest, there's part of you who is expecting, uh, part of you that's expecting the worst um, with the Five of Cups and the Hanging Man. And I just feel like, as I said, that really weird. Um, they're pushing you to adjust your perspective when this does come to be at select points. Okay, I'm not saying it's not valid. I'm sure it absolutely is, or or partially is. But um, I'm hearing it may tie into one, if not multiple people you work with and or live with. Try not to stress it. But I do feel like you need to have patience in regards to what you don't have, what you need to gain, because it will come in in divine timing. It's a time where spirit's saying, watch the money flow in and expect for more to flow in moving forward. All right? So I hope this was truly helpful. Sending you so much love and light. Definitely go enjoy the rest of May, and I'll see you next time.